word problem. Say that we have a ball and it's dropped from a tower that is 450 meters above the ground. stand at the top of the tower and you drop a ball, you just drop it, no initial velocity, right? Then the formula for the height of the ball is 450 minus 4.9 t squared. So first, let's find the derivative as prime of t at any time t. We want to write a formula for the derivative. <coughs> and to do this, we're going to use our definition of the derivative. Definition of the derivative says that s prime of t is the limit as h approaches 0, s of t plus h minus s of t all over h. Okay, so this is the formula, but now instead of F, I wrote S. Instead of A, I wrote T. But that's okay. It's still the same formula. F became S. A became T because those were the variables that I'm using in this problem. Okay. So S prime of T is this limit. Now we substitute in to our formula for S. So this is the limit as H goes to zero. S is 450 minus 4.9 t squared. I want to plug in t is t plus h. So I have 450 minus 4.9 times t plus h squared. So this is, this piece here is the S of t plus h. And now I want to subtract s of t. So I have minus s of t, the whole thing, 450 minus 4.9 t squared. Here, ah. Here it is, the minus <coughs> s of t. And the whole thing is divided by a. So now I want to compute the limit as h approaches 0. Again, what happens when I plug in h? I get division by 0. And what do you get in the, in the numerator? In the denominator, you get 0. What do you get in the numerator when you plug in h? 0. You get 0 also. right? You get, you get always, when you do derivatives, you always get 0 over 0. And that's clear, because look at the formula. Plug in h, you get s of t minus s of t over, eight, over 0. So you get 0 over 0. Okay. So what we hope, what we hope is that the 0 over 0 is going to cancel out, that we have a removable discontinuity right, of, this, <coughs> of this difference quotient, that when I do my algebraic manipulations, I can cancel out the h um, and get rid of the 0 in the denominator. So this is, um, so we just have a, a quadratic 
quadratic terms in um, the numerator. Maybe just simplify and combine some like terms. Okay, so do what I can in the numerator. So this is the limit as h goes to 0. Um, can I cancel the 450s right away? So this 450 is going to cancel with that 450. The 450s cancel. Let's expand out the t plus h squared. And I get negative 4.9 times t plus h quantity squared is t squared plus 2th plus h squared. Multiplying <coughs> out those, those binomials. And then I have minus, now the 450s I canceled, and I distribute the negative. So I have plus 4.9 in the numerator. to zero. This is um, a linear equation, or sorry, a linear expression. So using my direct substitution property, I plug in h is zero, and I get negative 9.8 t. So the derivative s prime of t is negative 9.8 t for every value, for every time t. meters above the ground at time t. Sorry, s meters above the ground at time t. So what does s prime of t represent in terms of the ball? The rate at which it's falling. This is the instantaneous rate of change. And since it's position and time, this is actually this is the instantaneous in the word we use? Velocity at time t. So at t. This tells me the instantaneous velocity of the ball at time t. So if I asked you how fast is the ball traveling 
when it hits the ground, if I ask you how fast is the ball traveling when it hits the ground, what, what do you do? so easy, is it? Okay. So, if I say how fast, what is that asking for? The instantaneous velocity or the speed, right? The instantaneous velocity or speed. So I want to use the derivative s prime at t, right? So this, we need to find <coughs> s prime of t, but at which t? that into your calculators if you want an approximation, or just work with, with the um, exact number. It's usually better anyways. Okay, so now I have the time when the ball hits the ground. How fast is the ball traveling when it hits the ground? What next? Plug that into your s of prime of t. Plug this into my s prime of t. So s prime of t is s prime of 450 divided by 4.9 square root. And s prime has, is the, has the formula negative 9.8 t. So this is going to be negative 9.8 times the square root of 450 over 4.9. Can somebody punch that in and give me a number? I 
93.884. Positive? Negative. Okay, so let's just round to 94. 93.8. We'll just round this to, to 94. And what are the units on this number? This is the velocity. This is the instantaneous velocity of the ball at the time when it hits the ground. So why is it negative? Traveling, down. traveling <laughs> downward. So the negative sign indicates that the ball is falling at this time. So to answer the question, how fast is the ball traveling? That would be 94 meters per second, right? So the ball is falling at a rate of 94 meters per second when it hits the ground. Um, section 2.7. Um, what time is it? 2.30.